Welcome to The Update, Soul Therapy's weekly news on Korean hip-hop and r and I'm your host, Liv. Before we dive into the video, to stay up to date with all our future K-hip-hop content, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you don't miss out. Since COVID restrictions are easing, K-hip-hop artists are coming back to do gigs in Europe, and you know we won't be missing out. At Paris Got Soul on November 27th and London Got Soul on December 4th, we have none other than Camo performing as our special guest. So hurry up and get your tickets and keep your eyes on our page for another exciting announcement coming next week. This week it was announced that rapper Lil Gim Chi has joined Young and Rich Records after being independent since his debut. It doesn't come as much of a surprise as he's been around and has been collaborating with members of the label like The Homies and Uneducated Kid. Another new signing comes from Daytona Entertainment as they have revealed they have signed High School Rapper 4 contestants Hwang Seyun, aka Heyun, and Touch the Sky, formerly known as Lil Neck. They mark the occasion with a freestyle from the two featuring label CEOs The Quiet and Yumda. On the other end, producer Noel Bo's contract with Joe Guangil and Brown Tigger's label Dipping Carls has come to an end and has not been renewed. He's known for having produced tracks such as Memoirs on Joe Guangil's debut album Dark Adaptation. The company says they wish him the best in the future. TS Entertainment has lost their lawsuit against rapper and TV personality Sleepy. They claimed he breached his contract by not reporting his broadcast and advertising income to pay off a 60 million won debt. Whereas Sleepy claimed that his living conditions under the company were poor and he didn't receive a proper payment from them for years. This week the court ruled in Sleepy's favour so he won't have to pay the 280 million won in damages that TS Entertainment claimed he caused. This has been the update. Don't forget to like, share, and comment telling us what you thought about this week's news. I'll see you next week.